Well, I've just watched The Good, The Bad and the Rugby with Princess and The Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Catherine. And I have to tell you what an absolute gem. It really shows how modest, modest, intelligent, sincere and nice most of the royals are. I mean, I know we already knew that. But if you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, please do yourself a favor. A, and he was recently removed from Spotify. He couldn't even connect with the guests on his superficial and stupid podcast series, and that just proves that Mike Tyndall's videos are even more important. You see, Meghan Markle is completely overwhelmed. She is someone who has never really pushed herself, she has never had success in Hollywood and we can understand why, Meghan is talentless, she's got no charisma, of course nobody really wants to be close to her. And she believes that she's so amazing, and that is the problem. But anyway, let's talk about something a little more pleasant, the rugby video. What stood out to me the most would have been how relaxed Princess Anne, as well as the whales, were during the whole episode. They were just so natural that I'm sure having Mike Tyndall as part of the family will help. Because of this, the episode actually seemed more conversational than an actual interview. Chapter Princess Anne is really a smart woman. I mean everyone in their family could learn from her. Princess and is very dedicated to her work, which is something I admire very much. He is a steady hand that the king and all the family members can truly rely on. He is also such a character. I mean, she has a fun personality. I think she really brought out the best in her mother and father. Such a wonderful person that I also love what Princess and said one time about Meghan. When she said, Everything Meghan talks about is simply a reinvention of the wheel. I mean, she's right. Meghan Markle has nothing new to offer. She claims to be this bold, brave feminist, but she just uses men to achieve success. And let's talk about feminism. Well, the feminist movement started in the 70s, before Meghan was born. In 1979, Britain elected its first female prime minister, Margaret Thatcher. Meghan Markle likes to talk about poverty in Africa, but it was a huge problem in the 80s. The work done in the 80s highlighted hunger and poverty more than Meghan had imagined. Meghan Markle loves nothing more than getting on a soapbox and talking about climate change, environmental issues and global warming. Well, let's talk about the reality of the situation. Prince Charles, now King Charles, discussed these issues decades ago. Meghan also tries to say that everyone in Britain is racist, but the Race Relations Act was passed in Britain in 1976. And today there is still a British Prime Minister of Asia, Meghan Markle says she had to flee Britain because racism there was so bad. Therefore, she decided to settle in the United States. I know this is my own country, but I will not deny that this is the place where a black man was killed two years ago, sparking protests around the world during a global pandemic. But Meghan Markle insists Britain is a racist country. What is she saying, maybe she could try living in some Eastern European countries, where black footballers still face racist taunts. They called them monkeys and stuff and threw bananas at them. Meghan is such a hypocrite and has nothing to offer and I think she knows it. Anyway, back to Mike's video. Well, the Prince and Princess of Wales. Oh, I love watching him. They are just a cute couple. And I don't think I was surprised when I found out how competitive they both are. I mean, even if they're in the parenting race, they're trying. And apparently Catherine likes swimming in really cold water. Chapter The Colder The Better I've heard of things like ice baths. Their health must be very good. Maybe that's why she does it. Regardless, it's nice to see them being able to relax and be themselves, you can see they are really nice people. I have a lot of respect for Mike Tyndall for bringing these guys together. When I talk about Megan's podcast series, 
I mean one of her biggest problems is that in order to be a famous and successful actor or even be able to get on stage and give a great speech, you have to be ahead of the game. Your talent and personality should shine through, but instead of pursuing true values like a true royal, Meghan decided to get around it all by marrying Harry. Chapter This gives him the opportunity to share his views on everything with everyone. It's really painful to watch, isn't it? Looking at her, I felt a little embarrassed. She is completely crazy. She didn't know what she was talking about. Meghan Markle has no right to be in the situation she is in. I mean, there are a lot of skilled people out there who have made it this far through hard work. Meghan Markle has never done anything hard in her life. I hate to say it, but she is like many women in Hollywood. Now she looks like one of those married to a CEO or significant other. And instead of doing the best thing that spends her husband's money and takes care of herself, Meghan decided to come out and tell us how to live. Of course, she will also destroy the royal family. It's really interesting when you think about it. Meghan Markle has no place. It's sad, because if she had been a good person, a genuine person, a kind person, we could have forgiven her a lot of things. If she treats others with respect, people will be more tolerant but he is the opposite of all that. As far as I can see, he has no identity. I see that she lacks selfless qualities. Can't even honestly mourn the late princess. You know, I think one of the reasons why Meghan bothers me so much is because she claims to be an advocate for women and she's a feminist and she talks about women's rights, but she's serving women like that, she hates feminism because she is so hypocritical. And he always pulled the race card against the royal families, even after they were so warm and sincere to him and gave him a very expensive and beautiful wedding. So maybe Meghan is really upset with herself for marrying a surrogate instead of an heir. And you know, she really tried to woo William when she was with Harry. What a whore, but when she's not trying to keep William in line, she clings tightly to Harry's side, inserting herself into the royal family like a parasite. He is such a stranger. He is very casual. He is completely unsuitable for this class of society. And now they have to find a way to get rid of them. I mean, I'm sure it will get there eventually. And Harry, well, I'm afraid he's ruined his life. All of his pre-existing themes are now apparent. And if she wasn't married, very few people would know her name. But a man who claims to be such a strong feminist has achieved most of what he has achieved in life with the help of men. For example, let's think about their education. Yes, it's all thanks to his father. How about this role on Suits? Well, it was all thanks to her ex-husband. And what about their current situation, well, we know this is all Harry's fault. Has anyone else noticed a trend here? I love how people say Meghan lives in her head, with her own surround sound. I couldn't have said it better myself. She lives in a fantasy world and the volume should be as loud as possible, because obviously he can't hear what the rest of the world is saying and doing. He only hears his own voice. But he must like it, because he will definitely stay there. And do you all remember what I said earlier in this video? Yes, I promised you that we will discuss your comments together. So, without further ado, let's get started. Well, these comments focused on Meghan's age. We've always said that, Shan's Hito said. Even her own family and classmates said she was not the age she claimed to be. Chapter Isn't it strange, how Meghan Markle just sticks with these lies, even when everybody knows their lies. And the age thing is a huge one. I like this comment from Jackie Sear 9478 too. It's funny that random people can sneak a photo of her, but nobody has ever been able to sneak a photo of her kids. Doesn't she ever take her kids anywhere, well, Jackie, I've never tried to take the invisible kids anywhere, but I imagine it's very difficult, and probably very difficult for Megan, too. For example, what will she do? Blow up the car seat? Next I want to read this comment from Becky Weddle 4597. If they break up, who will buy the 18 million house in Malibu? And who will live there, Harry had to run. Well, 
most likely this is PR nonsense and in reality no one will buy this 18 million house in Malibu. Another possibility, in my opinion, is that Meghan Markle will spend all her divorce money on a house in Malibu. It would be really stupid if he couldn't find a job on his own anymore. But he's famous for doing stupid things, right? Well, I wanted Meghan to see this comment by Kathleen Singleton 6314. You can't make people like you, they either do or they don't. It depends on what kind of person you are. Like respect, love is obtained from the actions of a person. Meghan Markle is losing in every way. It's true, you can't make someone be like you. The more you try to please them, the less they do. Meghan Markle doesn't seem to understand this. Oh well, that's an interesting comment. Chapter I like this from Reeritz 1280. Another rumor I've heard recently is that Tom Markle is not Meg's biological father, but he adopted her. That's the reason for the age difference. The judge sealed his birth certificate and issued him a birth certificate with a future adoption date. I don't believe it, but it explains a lot, including 48% of Nigerians. Chapter O, oh, okay. We all know that was made up. As for Thomas Markle and not being Meghan's biological father, well, maybe, but to me, that's not true. The faces are somewhat similar. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Delia Burris 8227 said, I thought this bitch was a vegetarian or vegan. Wasn't she scolding the staff while tasting the food for the reception? Chapter Didn't Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth tell him that this is not the way the royal family treats people? This bitch is not on the D list, not even the Z list. The more she changes her appearance, the older she looks. You know, that was the first thought that came to my mind when I saw the photo of Meghan wearing the in North Out drive through Chapter It doesn't make sense, but look, then I thought about this. I know what kind of vegetarian or vegan Meghan is. She's the kind of person who only eats vegetarian food when it makes other people uncomfortable. When it's okay, oh, she can eat whatever she wants. Thanks again for discussing all of this with me. I'm done with that, but we'll come back to the next video. Don't hesitate to click the like button and subscribe to the Princess Diana News channel for more information. Goodbye. We'll be back to see you all tonight.